And now to stories here in Nigeria, suspected political thugs invaded the chamber of the Plateau State House of Assembly last Thursday and vandalized property and valuable documents. This has come days after the impeachment of the House Speaker, an event that has thrown the Assembly into political turmoil. In the meantime, a judge high court in Plateau State has affirmed Joshua Laverne of the People's Democratic Party as the duly elected chairman of the Lantang North local government area. Justice Isha Kukunda dismissed an appeal filed by his challenger, Zufa Rimven, of the All Progressive Congress on the grounds that the suit was instituted without merit. And the newly reinstated chairman of the Lantan Lot local government area, Joshua Laven, now joins us to clarify a number of things. I want to say thank you very much for joining us. First of all, do you feel some sort of vindication being given by the courts? Restating you. Talk to us about this. Thank you. I, I, th I appreciate your concern and uh, the, the victory that was given to us by the court. I think we appreciate it a lot. Uh, it's a victory in the right direction and then it's a plus for democracy. Mr. Lavin, how did it come to be like this? Can you please give us a brief history of what exactly happened for things to deteriorate so much that we are now talking of armed thugs and, you know, going to court and such? Yeah, uh, actually, you know, when there's an impunity, uh, the impunity uh, won't uh, have a way and then the, it will breed uh, insecurity. The fact remains that in the first place there was no vacancy for uh, the election to be conducted in Lantang, not local government. There was no vacancy because I won my election in 2018, November, uh, 2018, October 10 to be precise. Uh, out of 18 state ward, I won 17. But my, my opponent that won just only one was declared for a year. We have to battle in the court for uh, over one year and I got judge, uh, justice. Uh, November, uh, October 2019, when I was sworn in, one of my colleagues had spent one year already in the office. So when they were two years in office, I was one year. When they were three years, I was two years. Uh, so the judgment credited uh, that I should be in the office for three years. But uh, to my greatest surprise, uh, Plastic, Plastic Independent Electoral Commission uh, announced, uh, in fact, advertised my position in 2021, October. Uh, ninth election that it was vacant. Well, I've just spent just two years. And for me, that believe in peace and uh, I, w I wouldn't want anything that will happen uh, the other way around. I, I, I seek the death before the court of law and I got judgment on the 2nd of November reinstating me back as the executive chairman. Uh, the election that was conducted on the, 20, on the 9th of uh, October 2021 20, was null and void by the court and said there was no vacancy in the first place. This is a constitutional matter. So I, and the election, the, the judgment was declaratory. So I don't need anybody to help execute the judgment because the judge said, fought with, go into your office, fought with, there's no vacancy and there's no vacancy, vacuum. So the election conducted on the 9th of October was null and void. So it's in nullity. So there's nothing like uh, election because there was no vacancy in the first place. And I proceeded to my local government on the second, on the third, on the fourth, I assumed responsibility in the office. Little do I know that before uh, Jack, they, they spread, they mobilized a lot of talks to come and uh, invade the secretariat and then chase me out of the office uh, with the help of the police commissioner who was just posting his first assignment. He was able to calm nerves, uh, calling both of uh, the two faction, that is me and the impostor chairman, who knows there's no vacancy there, and then went and accept, uh, response, uh, accept to contest where there's no vacancy, and called us and said we should stay out of the office for like a week, and yesterday was All right, Mr. Exactly. Lavin, just briefly, uh, permit me to I just find out from you, because uh, Barrister Bitru Zofa is still insisting that he is the chairman of the local government, despite this court order. Briefly, very briefly. Yeah, he's still insisting because that the, he's insisting because the government of the day that I sue are still in, insisting that he is their own chairman. But I think the law will suffice here because 
constitutionally what the law says is what we should abide by. If the executive governor of Plateau State is a law-abiding citizen, he should know that there is no issue here because first and foremost is a constitutional matter. And there was no vacuum. Others have completed their three years. I am just, I've just spent my two years in office. And you cannot well, declare my position vacant. So if, if by... It, but as if I still insist well, well, that he's Lavin, a chairman we, of Lanth We have to interrupt you, but still congratulate you on your standing victory and wish you all the best. Joshua Lavin, thank you for joining us this afternoon.